In this episode, we'll show you how to leverage powerful snippets of PHP code inside ModX without writing any PHP yourself. But first, I'm going to talk a bit about categories. As you can see, categories are a flexible way to organize your elements in the ModX Elements tree view. I've set up three categories here, one for each lesson so far. Here's the template from the first lesson, and here are the chunks from the second lesson and the templates that use them. To assign an element to a category, simply select one from the Elements Edit view and hit Save. Sometimes you need to refresh the tree view to see your changes. Now let's dive into using snippets in ModX. ModX is flexible enough that you can create your own PHP scripts and easily integrate them into your ModX site. However, there are hundreds of powerful ModX Extras, or apps, already available for free from the ModX Extras repository. Extras are fully developed packages of PHP snippets and plugins that extend the core functionality of ModX. You don't have to know any PHP to leverage these incredibly useful scripts. You can install them easily using the Package Manager. In the main menu of the ModX Manager, go to System, Package Management. By default, ModX does not come with any extras installed. It's up to you to select the ones you need. Click on the Download Extras button, and you'll be presented with a list of most popular and newest extras. One nice thing about ModX extras is that the majority of them are tried, tested, and true. There's no need to wade through dozens of broken plugins just to find the one that works. Many of these were developed by ModX core developers and many others by active community members. Plus, due to the flexibility of ModX's framework, one snippet can do a lot of different things. Let's start with one of the most popular extras, Wayfinder. Click on its name in the list, then click the Download button for the Wayfinder package. Now that the package is downloaded to your site, you need to install it. Click the Back to Package Management button. Click the Install button. Read the interesting and important notices. Click Continue, and the package installer will run. Click OK in the resulting window, and now the snippet is ready for use. Let's view our demo site for a moment. We've customized this site with our own markup, but there's one big problem. The links in the main menu don't work. We fluked out because the About page happens to have the same URL, but what about these other links? They all redirect to the home page because ModX defaults to the home page when a request returns page not found. These other links are actually broken. We could add valid URLs to these anchor elements, or we could let ModX populate them dynamically based on the resources we have in our site tree. That would make this site far easier and more intuitive to build and maintain. How do we achieve this? Well, like everything in ModX, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but we're going to use the Wayfinder snippet. Wayfinder is a menu builder. It traverses the resource tree, creating links, link text, and other attributes based on the resources attributes and properties that we set in the snippet call. It also creates submenus and adds active classes, among other things. Additionally, the output is 100% customizable, you can tell Wayfinder to generate those links and menus using whatever HTML you desire. Nearly all ModX snippets are customizable this way, making them unbelievably flexible and powerful. Back under our Elements tab, let's click on our main underscore menu underscore header chunk to edit it. Our menu is a standard unordered list, but we've reversed the order because we want to float them to the right. There are better ways to do this. We're not totally isolating content and presentation here. But I wanted to show you how we can customize Wayfinder to our unique requirements. The first thing we'll do is replace the UL element with a call to the Wayfinder snippet. We type two open square brackets, then the name of the snippet, in this case Wayfinder, and then two closing square brackets. Now when we look at the rendered page, there's nothing there. That's because by default, Wayfinder starts with the current document and lists child resources. This document doesn't have any child resources, so nothing is output. We simply need to define the start ID property of Wayfinder. We do that just like we did with chunks. Immediately following the snippet name, we add a question mark to delimit a set of properties and an ampersand to delimit a key value pair. The key is start ID and the value is zero, which tells Wayfinder to start at the web root and list all resources starting from the top level of the tree. Now when we look at the front end, 
we see Wayfinder has output an unordered list with a list item for each menu item and it has added a class for the first and last list items as well as the current active document. Neat! A couple of things to address. Wayfinder defaults to the same sort order as the Modex resource tree. Remember we wanted our list elements in reverse order? While well, Wayfinder has a property sort order, we simply define this property as DESC for descending. Another issue with our new menu is that we're missing the contact page link because that document hasn't been created in ModX yet. So let's quickly create that document. We'll save it, set the menu index by dragging it into position, and now we'll check our site. And there you go. Wayfinder dynamically lists all resources in the resource tree. If we create second level resources, like this for example, Wayfinder will list those too. You can turn these nested list elements into dropdowns, or you could remove them entirely by setting the level property. Setting level equals 1, for example, will display only the top level resources. By far, the most powerful properties available to ModX snippets are the template properties. Depending on the snippet, there may not be template properties available, but Wayfinder has over a dozen. Template properties allow you to define a chunk of HTML to use as a template for that snippet's output. Here's an example. Let's customize the markup used for the menu items that Wayfinder generates. We'll define the row TPL property with the name of a chunk. Row TPL equals my menu item TPL. This tells Wayfinder to use the my menu item TPL chunk every time it outputs a row or menu item. We'll create the chunk, and instead of a link to the resource, we're going to populate each menu item with a small photo of a kitten from placekitten.com. Now we see on the front end that we have an unusable, but arguably cute, main menu. There are a lot of other available properties, including ones for defining custom classes for Wayfinder to output, and much, much more. Check out the documentation at rtfm.modex.com slash display slash add-on slash wayfinder. By now, we hope you've got a glimmer in your eye about the infinitely flexible capabilities of ModX snippets. In our next tutorial, we're going to take the concept of infinite configuration a step further when we introduce you to template variables. Mm -hmm.